So once again, like the pastor say, I won't be before you too long. I won't be before you too long. This is going to be a quick video. We're going to get straight to business. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Joy from She Speaks Too. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. So today we're going to be talking about purchasing land in Liberia. This is a very um, sought out question. People ask me all the time, where did you buy your land? Do you know anyone who's selling? Um, and so I don't answer those questions typically because it's so controversial buying and selling land because there are so many issues that go along with it. So I'm just going to talk about, I'm going to give you my biggest advice about buying land and I'm going to, before I even give you the advice, I'm going to tell you a story that kind of hit close to home regarding purchasing land and that is why I don't um, have anyone that I would recommend or um, send you to because I don't want to be involved. It's such a touchy subject and for those of you guys who are living in abroad, who have bought land and have been duped, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, this video is mostly for all of my abroadians, those of you who live abroad. Um, and so I'm gonna just give you, like I said, I'm gonna give you some advice, but I'm gonna tell you a story first. So when we bought our land, um, my husband was on the ground. I don't know how he found that place. I think I do know, anyway. When we bought our land, my husband was on the ground, so he was able to go there, see the land. He went with some friends. So around us, we, we know our neighbors, we're all friends. So we purchased the land. As soon as he did it, what he did was, I don't even think he put up a cornerstone. He started um, getting the yellow machine um, to clear the place, to take, you know, to clear the place to start building. He laid foundation. So he did that fairly quickly after he purchased the land. So um, that, once you start doing that, it will discourage anyone from trying to resell your land because if someone comes there, anybody with sense will say, but wait now, how you selling me this? What's this foundation on the property? Now you would have to be literally um, wanting to just buy your own trouble if you buy land that has foundation on there and don't ask questions. So for us, it worked out because he was, my husband was moving quicker than the speed of lightning, quicker than even I was comfortable. Like um, if you watch my previous videos, you will know that I was not impressed with this bush that he had taken me to, this riverside property, I was like, where is this? Um, that you have to even use a four wheel drive to get there. But, so he started moving fairly, fairly quickly. So that helped us out. So what happened is, like I said, we know all our neighbors. His cousin came from abroad and um, one day his cousin was, we were telling him where we bought our land and his cousin said, but I got land over there too. I will ride with you, maybe we can see mine first and then, um, then I can see yours. So as we're going to the land, we look, look at how coincidental this is. As we're going to the land, um, we get in the car, we're driving, the cousin keeps saying, okay, turn left, do this, go right. And as we're getting closer, we're like, my husband's like, but I know the area, like it's getting close to our land. So here's our land. Luckily, he branches out. His cousin branches the other way. So we, got, we were like, okay, so we're not going to our land. But he branches the other way. So um, my husband's like, um, your land looking kind of familiar, old cuz. And he was like, yeah, that's my land, that's my land. We kept going, we kept going. We go to the land. He buys, my, his, my, my husband's cousin shows us the land that he purchased, which turns out to be one of our neighbor's land that she purchased alongside of us. So it's her land. Now the cousin too has bought the land. And, we, and we've all bought property from this, the same people. So anyway, um, we went to the town to kind of figure out what was going on. And basically I think what they decided was the cousin will be, what they call it now is like when you go to the person and say, my man, why you sold me this land? They're not even apologetic. What they can say is, okay, we will relocate you. So for me, if I purchase property by Riverside, you gonna, you're not relocating me. So I think that's what they ended up agreeing on that is going to be some relocation. So, but I would be pissed. Like I purchased this land. I didn't purchase land to be relocated. And the person that was sold the land to that we knew, she purchased that land first. So rightly so, it is hers. The cousin, my husband's cousin purchased the land afterwards. So um, she, she is the rightful owner, but you see how close to home that was? We were basically going to our property 
our property was here and then he said okay make a right we turned right and my husband was like i know this place i was here when the woman purchased it so that is just a little story so you just have to be really really careful you have to do your due diligence if you have family members that live here if you're from abroad have them check it out have them ask questions look around i mean look for cornerstone uh, i wish there was a site that you could search um, the land to see if someone had purchased it before but i don't think that is possible if somebody did that i think they would be a millionaire in liberia so um but that is the story that i wanted to share with you now i'm going to give you my advice okay so with purchasing land as far as the actual purchasing you just have to do your due diligence you have to ask questions you have to um have family members kind of scout the land out you have to trust the person who's selling the land to you don't just um, go to anybody Joe blow off the street you gotta know what's going on a lot of times it's good to buy land that's been in families for a long time because you can you can kind of verify and vouch that this land belongs to them but you just meet these new people that land could be something that they just got a fake deed and stuff for so it's good to do your due diligence so my biggest advice in purchasing land, let's say the lot is $1,000 or the lot is $2,000. I say budget another $2,000 for whatever you're purchasing and put some kind of structure there as soon as possible. Um, and I'm not saying um, a house or anything, but you can do like a, a concrete room for what like you can build a, a, a like what it called here boys quarter you can build something that can house one person um just a concrete thing um floor tile door bam you have something on that structure now anybody purchasing that will look at that and say okay i can buy what is that structure on there who does that belong to that makes no sense um, especially if you have someone living on that property and in Liberia it is fairly cheap to have someone to be on the property you can pay someone $60 a month give them a bag of rice give them um, $60 a month give them a bag of rice give them food because they can still go work um, and come back and just sleep there and you can just give them supplement what they're doing anyway and then give them something give them a bag of rice help them out because they're helping you out and they can actually live on the property something concrete pull something up a structure bam you got it my husband was saying you can even start a little bit of the fence just so you have something there to show someone this belongs to me um, a lot of times people were doing cornerstones don't cornerstone mean nothing now unless I don't know if your cornerstone all the way down to um, beyond, beyond go back and they can't take it out maybe that would be good but nowadays cornerstone means nothing the people dig up your cornerstone put it on there then you dig it up you take theirs out you put yours there they do it do it it's back and forth cornerstone gets no respect in my beard so don't say oh i would just and buy the land out put my cornerstone down put my initials on the cornerstone girl they got another cornerstone waiting for you right after that so my advice is to budget an extra one thousand one one to two thousand dollars to put some kind of structure on that land as soon as you purchase it in order to let people know this belongs to somebody something that cannot be knocked down um, something that someone actually you can even make it where you would put your boys quarters or your security gate you can you can kind of fix it like that so when you're building your house you can still keep that structure so it doesn't cost much maybe two thousand or so um, so that would be my biggest advice. Now, I'm not some kind of land or property guru in Liberia myself from abroad, but that is something that I've seen that has worked for a lot of people. Some people don't even put concrete. I've seen some people put like a makeshift zinc type structure on there and people still live in that, but I would like to give them more, um, more shelter. So I would do concrete and make it more like a home where someone can have a one bedroom right there, you know. But anyway, so that's, my biggest advice is something simple, uh, maybe something that some of you guys have thought about, but that's what I would do if I was purchasing property in Liberia. And like I said, as far as the purchasing the property, I have the only advice is to trust the person you're buying it from, but as soon as you get it, try to put something down so someone else can't resell that and say this belongs to me. So this is Joy from She Speaks 2. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you later.